welcome to our daily YouTube session. Today we will be doing a topic in the context of climate change. The topic is helpful with respect to your prelims examination because of the some of the technical concepts that are present and also from the mains perspective. So, what does this news say is that rising Antarctic ice melt will dramatically slow down global ocean flows and why this matters. In this context, we will see the significance as well as impact of this basically ice melt as well as the technical concept that is, just give me a second, as well as the technical concept that is AMOC that is ocean circulation. This what may be important for you in your prelims as well as your mains examination. Okay, so let us start with it. What does it say? First of all, according to a recent study that has been published in General Nature, okay, the some statistics has been highlighted that deep ocean water flows, deep ocean water flows from Antarctica could decline by 40 percent by 20. 50 the flows from deep ocean flows you, you must have studied in your geography class the deep flows for example this is an antarctica body the deep ocean flows and the upper body water flows that basically the ocean circulation that moves on then what does it further state says rapidly melting antarctic ice is dramatically slowing down the flow of water through the world's ocean and could have a disastrous impact on three things specifically highlights first of all upon the global climate then secondly on the marine food chain and even the stability of the ice shelf with respect to your food chain you must have studied that marine food chain is dependent upon phytoplankton then third thing it states is that scientists relied on around 30 5 million computing hours over two years to crank through a variety of models and simulations which led to the conclusion that deep water circulation in the Antarctic could weaken at twice the rate of decline in the northern Atlantic. Okay, so everybody knows this. Okay, if we make a rough map, if this is Europe, this is North America this is southern america okay and here it is africa so this is northern atlantic ocean and on this side it is pacific ocean okay so what does this news highlight basically the news highlights that the rapid melting of the ice sheets in the context of the global warming of the temperatures can slow down the deep water ocean flows which could impact the global climate as well as the marine food chains as well as the stability of the ice shelf and this could will be happening at twice the rate at what is happening in the northern atlantic oceans so this thing is important so we will discuss its impact as well as significance moving forward first of all we need to know this the news is talking about concept of ocean circulation as well as the water flows from one part to the another part okay in this context we need to know first of all what is this amoc or atlantic meridional overturning circulation this thing can be asked with respect to your prelims examination as well as your means examination so you should be clear with respect to this context in both the areas so amoc is a major circulation system that transports warm water surface from the tropics towards the northern atlantic and cold deep water that are part of the thermohaline circulation south southwards so what does it state it states that basically the warm water for example this is equator that warm water from this areas is taken over to the Atlantic areas over to the polar areas and this is upper water circulation. In your geography classes you must have studied that basically that 
hot water basically is at the upper level whereas colder water sinks and colder water from these areas is transported back towards the southern area so this is what is called atlantic meridional overturning circulation and in this context we also need to know its significance that is it redistributes heat and nutrients throughout the ocean bodies of the world so that is why it is important so it is driven by a movement of denser water towards the sea floor obviously and then helps deliver heat carbon oxygen and vital nutrients around the globe that is what i have already stated that warm water from basically equator that is upper water circulation moves towards the polar or colder areas and whereas basically the cold water from the upper areas basically goes for a deep water circulation towards the southern areas and through this circulation it transports basically heat from example from equator this is a heat plus area and this is a heat deficient area so from these areas basically the excess of the heat is distributed towards the polar areas whereas polar areas are excessively cold and this excessive energy is transported or redistributed towards the equator equatorial areas or towards the tropic which are excessively hot so it helps deliver heat as well as carbon oxygen and vital nutrients allow around the globe so helps in maintaining balance in the ecosystem so that is why this particular thing is very of importance then one of the main ways the ocean circulates heat salt carbon and nutrients throughout the world's ocean is through overturning circulation that is basically this phenomena that we are discussing here so first of all in context of this news to understand the news we need to know basically what is this overturning circulation that is very simple concept concept that is transporting warmer uh, surface waters from the tropics towards the northern atlantic and colder deep waters from that part of the thermohaline circulation towards the southern areas so moving forward we need to understand that this basically ice melt how this thing will impact our global stability or stability of the ice shelf of the marine food eco, eco food, marine food chain or of the basically global climates so it states that a slow down is expected to speed up ice melt and potentially end an ocean system that has helped sustain life for thousands of years first thing second thing it states that in the past these overturning circulation the basically variations that used to happen in this circulation used to happen over thousands of years or so but now these changes are occurring within a few decades it means the variations that used to happen in thousand years for example are now hap happening in 20 to 20 years that is a kind of change we are witnessing in this context third thing it states that is circulation of deep ocean water is considered vital for the health of the sea and plays an important role in sequestering carbon absorbed from the atmosphere very very important point in this context it states that this circulation is important or of significance for sequestration of co2 it means the excessive carbon dioxide from the at atmosphere is absorbed within the within the oceans due to this deep ocean water circulation that that is basically going on further moving forward sorry what does it state it states that if amoc or atlantic meridional overturning circulation will slow down what will happen it states that atlantic ocean will get colder the slower circulation of the dense water in the antarctic means the deepest water of the southern areas will warm up so in this context try to understand basically the definition of amoc what we discussed was that it transports warm water towards the northern areas and from the northern areas we get cold water whereas this is a deep water circulation this is a upper water circulation so in this context try to understand it states that if this process or if this phenomena slows down what will happen is basically the movement of the water from the 
this is equator the movement the heat redistribution that happens towards the basically polar areas it will slow down it means these areas will warm up whereas these areas will be basically excessive colder then from these areas also we will not be able to have a deep water circulation okay then in certain areas it states that mostly south of the australia in southern ocean and in tropics then this nutrient rich cold water moves towards the surface in a process called as upwelling distributing the nutrients to the higher layer of the ocean so it's what does it actually means is that in the southern australia or in the southern areas what happens is that excessive nutrient rich colder water basically the nutrient colder water that is again a deep water circulation moves towards the surface it moves on like this basically the concept what is called as upwelling the nutrients which are at the bottom of the floor basically are moved towards the surface in the concept that is known as upwelling okay and the, how this upwelling is done it is again connected with this concept that is called as atlantic meridional overturning circulation as the water basically moves towards the other areas as the circulation happens basically nutrients are redistributed towards the other oceans or towards the other areas of the globe but this nutrient redistribution will also be affected and this process of upwelling will also be affected because the ocean water circulation will slow down so what will happen with this is basically if we take a nutshell scenario of the slide it states that the slow down of of the omc will lead to first of all it will it will lead to basically warming up of the southern areas and the colder areas will get excessively cold okay so here atlantic area is getting cold whereas the southern oceans will get warm up why as i have already stated you because the warm water will not be basically redistributed towards the polar areas whereas from the polar areas the cold deep water circulation will not have moved towards the equatorial areas so as this process will slow down the northern areas will get excessively cold and the southern areas will get excessively warmed up first thing second thing is that the concept that is known as upwelling where the nutrients that are at the bottom of the floor basically they move towards the surface through this ocean water circulation as this circulation will slow down the nutrients will not basically be moved towards the surface and will not be redistributed around the areas of the globe moving forward what does it else state is it states that as the global temperatures warm we already know that we have many agreements in this context for example we have paris climate deal in this context india has also announced panch amrit strategy then we had a glasgow summit also in this context as global warm temperatures warm melting ice basically what will happen is melting sea ice freshens the water around the antarctic so where is antarctic antarctic is again in the southern area antarctic diluting its saltiness and raising its temperature meaning it is less dense and does not sink to the bottom so what you need to understand here is again a very basic concept i have already stated to you that cold water is more saline first of all and it sinks down to the bottom whereas warm water is less saline and remains at the upper area of the oceans so what will happen is it states that as the global temperatures will warm up basically the ice that is there in the antarctic areas it will basically freshen the water around the antarctic basically it will be less saline and when the water will be less saline it means it is warmer and it will not sink down to the basically lower area so what will again happen when the ocean current or the ocean flow has to move from the basically colder areas to the warmer areas it needs what it needs the flow is of colder water towards the tropical areas and from the tropical areas flow is of warmer water towards the northern areas so this circulation from the antarctic or the colder areas towards the tropics will not happen because there will not be enough of cold saline 
water because as the ocean temperatures have increased basically the water has become warm which is less dense and warm water does not sink to the bottom of the oceans which can drive the movement of the ocean from the northern areas towards the equatorial or the tropical areas so that is what it is stating that meaning it is less dense and does not sink to the bottoms further it states that ocean would not be able to absorb as much as carbon dioxide as its upper layers become more stratified again why because of the warming of the sea waters leaving much more carbon dioxide in the atmosphere we already know that to absorb the carbon dioxide basically we are adopting many strategies okay and one of the strategies is basically sequestration strategy that is with respect to the oceans and when the oceans will have less space to absorb the carbon dioxide then the more carbon dioxide will basically remain in the atmosphere that is again basically will or what it will be having a detrimental impact on our global climate so it is that is what it is stating that oceans will have the less capacity to absorb the co2 from the atmosphere means greenhouse gases will basically have more significant space in the atmosphere which will again rise up or basically level up the global temperatures moving forward now what we have here is basically we have a question with respect to the prelims examination okay and the question is with respect to the sorry question here is with respect to amoc ocean meridional overturning circulation what does it states that see the first statement it states that it carries warm waters from the tropics towards the equators first statement second statement is melting of glacier weakens this circulation second concept third is it is distributed to all the ocean bases via antarctic circumpolar basically current now see the options 1 and 2 1 and 3 2 and 3 and all of the above so so now let's us examine the first statement here it states that it carries warm surface waters from the tropics towards the equator what do we basically learn with respect to the definition of the omc that it carries warm water yes it carries warm water but towards the northern areas not towards the equator but towards the northern areas so we can state here is our option 1 is also eliminated and our option 2 is also eliminated then d basically all of the above because one is not included it is also eliminated and we are left with only option c that is 2 and 3 2 basically states that melting of glacier weakens the circulation yes we have already been basically we have seen that because as melting will happen what will happen is the water will become hot or warm further it will be less saline it means it will not sink down to the bottom of the sea and when water will not sink down basically the ocean water circulation will not happen from the northern areas so yes this statement is correct sec third statement is it is distributed to all ocean bases via via the antarctic circumpolar current that we have also seen in our news so that is also correct so this is all from my side for today thank you very much